With the retirement of David Denson from minor league baseball, the four big professional sports leagues in North America now have no publicly out LGBT athletes. That's the NHL, NBA, Major League Baseball, and the NFL. And this is the first time since 2013 that no one is in any of these uh, league systems. Uh, maybe we had Michael Sam, we had Jason Collins, we had David Denson, nobody from hockey. Now, everybody's gone. Where, where does that leave us? Uh, you know, there are so many reasons that there are no out athletes in those pro leagues. There's fear of fan reaction, there's fear of teammates reaction, generally fear of the unknown. There are people inside of our movement and outside of our movement encouraging athletes to stay in the closet. Uh, there are lots and lots of reasons. But and if people point to Michael Sam, say, oh, well, Michael Sam couldn't succeed in the NFL and, uh, and, and as an openly gay man, and that's why nobody's come out. You know, I like to look at numbers five and six. If you've got to talk about the big four, how about the big five or the big six? Major League Soccer and the WNBA. And between those two leagues, you've got Robbie Rogers in MLS, and you have tons of women in the WNBA. And people like to dismiss the WNBA as, oh, you know, it's uh, everybody is lesbian there, which of course is not true. And oh, it's so easy to be uh, an out lesbian in sports, which again is not necessarily true. Um, it's always difficult to come out no matter who you are or where you are. There are women and men succeeding in Major League Soccer and WNBA uh, as out LGBT. And if we look at so many kids in high school, in college, across sports, big sports, basketball, football, baseball, hockey, soccer, wrestling, swimming, track and field, everything else. So many of them succeeding as out LGBT athletes, men and women. So yeah, it's disappointing that the big four for the first time since 2013 has nobody in their system who's publicly out. But we know there are LGBT athletes there and we see so many inspirational younger kids in their teens and early 20s succeeding in high school and college. So at Outsports, we're gonna to continue to focus on those things, continue to focus on the people who are out and who want to come out and continue to encourage people to come out. Uh, we know that there are LGBT people in the big four and hopefully sometime this year, some of them will decide to take the leap. Until then, just keep checking back in Outsports and we'll have lots more stories of these really inspirational kids. We have a lot more coming in April.